All right, this is your language arts instruction for today, <clears throat> um, or for the week, I guess. Um, we are going to be, so Edie says we'll be able to understand the difference between a noun and a verb and how they are used appropriately in sentences. Um, the first exit, I'm just going to walk through your exit tickets with you, um, sorry, and your instructions and reminders. Just open up that instructions and reminders and hope, I mean, obviously you open up this page too, your instructional video. Also open up the instructions and reminders and read those. Um, it tells you what nouns are, tells you what verbs are, and then it gives you examples of every kind of noun and every kind of verb right from our right source book, okay? So I encourage you to read that. I'm going to open up our exit ticket. I'm going to show you our exit tickets. This is the exit ticket for Monday or Tuesday, I believe. Um, and it says that some words, depending on how they're used, can be either a noun or a verb. So if I say, um, if I'm waving to you, okay, me waving is an action and a verb is an action, okay? So I waved, that is a verb. If I said, oh, let's go, let's go surf on that gnarly wave. That was really bad. You guys know I don't have good accents. So, um, a gnarly wave, that's a thing, right? So, um, that would be a noun in that case, all right? Um, so, play, okay? If I were, if I said, hey guys, come on, let's go watch the play. That is a thing, okay? It's a place that we're, we're going to the theater where the play is going on, but that is a noun, okay? If I said, oh, I just really would like you guys to go out and play. That is an action. That's something that you guys are doing, right? Okay, ring. Um, the next one is ring. Number four is lock. Number five is slide. So those are your, um, you need to use them in both a noun Use those words as both nouns and as verbs in those sentences, okay? Tuesday is the same thing, just different words, okay? Um, the words are brush. Um, so a brush can be a thing or a brush can be something that is an action. Rain. Rain can be a thing or it can be raining. Or it is raining is the action. No, is is the verb. Rain as an action figure it out. Um, talk. Talk can be a thing and it can be a action. So like if I'm writing a talk, that's a physical thing, right? I'm writing, I have a paper here, this is my talk. It's a thing. But if I'm talking, that's a verb, right? Okay, boat and watch. Those are the next ones. Mixed up verbs. Now I wanted to make sure that you guys saw this one and that you knew how to do it, okay? So what you need to do is it says the verbs in this story have been all mixed up. Look at the underlined verbs, sort out the verbs from the story, and write the correct verbs on the lines at the bottom. Here's what I would do. I would take all of the verbs that you see, and I would list them out on a separate piece of paper. Okay? So it says, I built. I'd write the word built out. Um, built is underlined, right? So I built. I would write built here. I was grow, growling. I was growling. I'd write was growling on this blank sheet of paper. I, so I wanted, I'd write the word wanted there because those are the underlined verbs. So I would write down all the verbs that are underlined first on a separate piece of paper. And then I would go through and I would read the story again, looking at my list of verbs that I wrote down and I would pick the verb that fit best in there, okay? So it says, I built a home from school Friday. I built home from school on Friday. Well, I know built does not make sense. So I'm gonna look at all of the words that I just wrote down. And if I'm looking, it says, I... Came. Okay, 
one of the one of the verbs in here is came. So if I put took the word came and I said I came home from school on Friday, that makes a lot more sense, right? So I'm going to take the verb came that I see here. Um, I see the verb came right here. I'm going to take came and I'm going to write it on number one right here, came, because that is the word that makes sense in that sentence. That's the verb that makes sense in that sentence, okay? All right. Um, anyway, I don't know if it's came or not. I haven't read the whole story, so don't assume that it's came because I don't. That's just, I'm just showing you how it makes sense, okay? All right, so um, there's one more exit ticket. I don't want to print it off, but you guys will be able to figure it out. Um, if you have any questions, please call me. Please text me. Please email me. Please video chat me. Whatever it is you need. Um, I think this one will be pretty easy for you guys to do, though, okay? Um, have fun. I miss you. See ya.